Good evening, this is William Newing, Scrum Master, Product Owner of Linwood, Washington, Wikispeed, November 9th. It is day after election day. And so, what have we here? The sun still rose today and it set and we're working in the shop. A little uh, makeup day for tomorrow not being at the stand-up. Uh, so we needed to relocate these brackets. Originally, they were actually, uh, the line, the brake lines were hitting the uh, steering arm connection. There we go. Steering rack uh, arm connection that we've made here. And this is adjustable, actually. Uh, wow, it's such an amazing thing. Uh, we tried installing this at the track on Friday, the W Expo, and we actually had issues uh, with it hitting. So now that we're actually here at the shop with more tools and supplies, we're able to actually relocate it. Uh, I've signaled a dot for where that needs to connect. And I found that the brake calipers should be installed first in order to, ha to, to allow how much uh, room, since that's gonna be a set point, how much room or how much movement the brake lines should be. Ideally, we would probably like these in uh, steel braided, but for now, they're good and they will work. Uh, this looks great. Uh, I end up using um, three over here as far as thickness and two on top just to make sure that uh, we can still uh, have enough uh, lift. Unfortunately, those are just about the washers that we used. Um, we went with a shorter uh, five by, excuse me, M, I think it's an M12 by 1.25. This one's probably a 1 1.0 uh, threading. On the passenger side, it was actually a slightly bit longer. It was 1.25, so we went with four right there and still two on that side, just so we can still have it somewhat freely spin. Um, this is a different uh, uh, rotor, so we'll see some significant changes on how that works. I also marked it on the passenger side as well. It's actually right here in the middle. Uh, at least that way, you'll clear that a little bit more. Um, I was thinking also I might snake this through in the middle, but depending on where I can actually mount this so that we can have the, the brake line not be in the way of, uh, of the steering mechanism when it's... Um, being steer left and right, so we'll we'll go through that uh, some more and uh, during the next iteration, which may be uh, next week, uh, as I figured I am taking a few days off uh, for a VIP visit. But any recommendations? Uh, make sure that we have enough washers uh, and the right thickness of washers. I know that I had to mix and match, which I didn't like, so I swapped out and went with the same uh, thickness ones for the brakes, which are awesome. Also. Uh, all of these are identical uh, uh, M12s as opposed to the other old ones that had uh, a different, uh, instead of a 19 millimeter uh, all the way through, the other last ones had 19 and 17 millimeters. So we went to just 19s that way for, for changing. Uh, when we do want to swap this on the track, it would be a quick and easy and it would save time in terms of getting the right tools instead of having to, two, having to use two sets of tools. Um, that is a lot of fancy uh, brake line work, so we will have to be very careful not to kink any of it. Otherwise, we will have to be rewiring new brake lines. Hopefully not, and then bleeding, of course. But uh, it's looking pretty good, and we'll find some new uh, some bits and drill some new holes and tap them in, drill them down, and looks like a version 31 plus service pack, or AKA, Version 35, front suspension is coming along and will work. I uh, can't wait to really set this up. It's pretty exciting. All right, now I actually have to head out to the airport. Take care, guys. Thanks a lot.